Hey everyone, welcome back to eLearning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So I am back with another amazing and really interesting video for all the aspiring data professionals and my lovely data community. So in this video, I will be talking about my interview experience for the data engineer role at Google. I will explain the entire interview process, like how many rounds were there and in each round, what kind of questions interviewer asked to me. And I'm pretty sure this will be really, really helpful if you are an aspiring data engineer having two to four years of experience and targeting companies like Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon. So make sure to watch this video till the very end and also take a note of all the important points which I will highlight for each interview round and the questions as well. Also give a like to this video as well so that this interview experience can reach to maximum number of aspiring data engineers and with all your love and support slowly we are moving towards the 100k subscriber milestone so if you are new to the channel and liking data related content then make sure to subscribe the channel and press the notification icon thanks to crowd.do for sponsoring this video crowd.do is a kind of platform which actually believes in learning by doing so if you are someone who want to crack some top notch product based companies for different job profiles like front end development back end development full stack development and you are lacking in the technical skills and didn't get any chance to work on real world projects then this should be be the go-to resource for you. So Cryo.do is actually helping students and working professionals to acquire latest tech skills by working on real world projects which are actually created by the companies itself. So here you can see some amazing stats, 93% placement, average CTC of 11 LPA, average super dream job CTC 22 LPA, 240 plus hiring partners are available here. So here you can see all those folks who actually enrolled themselves on Cryo.do platform and landed into their dream job. Free trial is available for everything. You can get the free trial and when you are satisfied, then you can enroll here. And also I have provided one special link in the video description. Make sure to check that out. You will be getting some exclusive and amazing offers there. And here is the small glimpse of real world kind of projects, which you will be working on in the cryo.do like building Netflix kind of OTT platform, backend development for the Zomato application, building a Google news like app front end development for the Airbnb application. Entire detail is mentioned here, including the duration, tech stack and the kind of projects you will be working here full stack development program backend development program and similarly there are two amazing very extensive and job guaranteed programs as well fellowship program in software development master's program in QA automation after completing these programs there will be a placement guarantee which is the best part of it and as soon as you will click on the link which I have provided in the video description you will be landed on this home page where you will receive a special gift from my side and as soon as you will unlock it you can use the promo code to get the extra discount plus a scholarship free guide to product based company interviews free guide to best resumes and free guide to mini projects for example like online whiteboard complete information the skills concept tech stack needed duration and references as well you can definitely create it and another interesting mini project is emotion based music player so what are you waiting for start your journey with cryo.do use the link in the description for exclusive offers and coupons and also book your free trial right now okay so let's start with the very basic thing and very important how did I even get an interview call for the Google? So I have definitely two experiences. I tried to apply for the open positions at Google on their career page. I got the interview calls and this time one of the Google recruiter reached out to me on LinkedIn and talked about the specific open position at Google and I showed my interest and started with the interview process. So definitely you should keep on applying on their career pages. And along with that, you should keep your LinkedIn profile up to date so that it can seek the attention of recruiters. And now I will talk about all the interview rounds one by one and explain what all things were asked. And after watching this interview experience, let me know in the comment section, like which round do you feel was the challenging one or the toughest one? And which round do you feel was the easy to crack like among all the interview rounds, which I will be explaining. In total, there were seven interview rounds, including the technical plus the behavioral part. And there was no online assessment kind of thing directly face to face interviews over the Google Meet. So first interview round was definitely the coding one. It was about the 45 minutes. And in that round, the interviewer asked me one coding question. And that question was something like you will be having a machine where four buttons are working. The one button can increase the timestamp value by 60 minutes. Second button can increase the time value by 15 minutes. Third button can increase the timestamp by five minutes. And the last button can increase the timestamp by one minute. And as an input, you will be given a timestamp value. It will contain only two fields, hour and minutes. From the current timestamp, which is displayed in the machine, you need to calculate the minimum number of button presses you need to achieve that target or output timestamp value. So that was the question. So in Google interviews, especially for the coding round, the thumb rule is definitely start discussing your approach 
you don't need to like jump onto the solution instantly and start uh, like coding it because there are multiple aspects of judging the coding round as well like how well you are uh, able to explain your approach and also while writing the code part they try to see what all best practices you are following right the code commenting part using proper functions good variable names the conditioning everything you are using in the best practice manner or not so these are the things as well you need to focus and again start with discussing your approach then like having some optimizations around it and then try to code it and second interview round again was a coding interview so in this round again it was 45 minute and interviewer asked one single coding question to me and the coding question was like you will be given a timestamp value like hours and minutes okay and obviously that hour and minute will be having some digits right zero to nine the each individual part can have zero to nine values right so in that problem statement what we had to do using the same combination of digits what would be the next minimum timestamp we can achieve right so that was the problem statement so you know the constraint like you will be given hour and minutes and digits will like zero to nine for every single place you need to consider the constraints of the hour and minute part like minute can go up to a zero to 59 right not six zero exactly and even for the hour part it can go from zero to 23 value so just use these things as a hint and you can definitely solve this question easily not a very big deal to crack and now talking about the third interview round so there were basically three parts of it first part the interviewer majorly focused on the questions related to big data and spark like the optimizations part how we can deal with the data skewness in a spark application different kind of optimized joins and these kind of questions in the second part the interviewer gave me few sql queries to solve like data set related to the employee and manager and there were some uh, like medium level SQL queries using the group bias and joins and third part was the medium level problem solving question which I again solved with the help of the Python and it was also very very easy. So in the fourth interview round the theme was basically application design and domain knowledge like they wanted to understand like how you can design a system right plus how well you understand the business cracks and even understanding the data domain right so that was the theme and again this was also 45 minutes of rounds and in this interview round the interviewer gave me one design related question and that was basically design a complete application right the system design or architecture for a ride hailing service like uber i had to design a system like how multiple components will uh, interact with each other the load balancing part the caching part interaction with the databases and even collecting the historical data or real-time data for the further data analysis part right so i had to design a system and again there is no fixed answer for these kind of design question my prime focus was to get maximum number of requirements from the interviewer so that i can efficiently design my system and the second part of this uh, interview question was even to design a data model for this particular like ride hailing applications or services i had to design a data model like what would be the fact tables in it what kind of dimension tables will be included right and what kind of important and beneficial business matrices we can calculate out of that so this was the mix uh, for this particular fourth uh, interview round and the theme of this interview round was basically system integration knowledge and in this round the interviewer actually focused on two things first he was looking at my resume and picked the most interesting project or basically you can say the recent project I was working on which was actually related to real time data streaming. So he uh, had a discussion with me for like around 10-15 minutes to understand the whole business problem statement and what kind of tech stack I'm using how much amount of data I'm processing, what kind of scalability we are taking care, the tools and tech stack, everything was discussed on that particular part. And then after that, he shared a problem statement that in our organization, we are also working on a solution, which is like a kind of real time streaming. And we will be picking the data from the IoT devices. And then we will be doing some processing intermediate processing and then providing that transform data to the downstream system so he wanted me to just give a thought process that how efficiently we can design this kind of uh, real-time system what kind of framework i will be using if possibility of cloud plus open source what would be that how i will take care of the scalability part data backfilling part the data replay what will be the major challenges while building the real-time data application right everything i had to discuss and i had to provide a solution for that so it was definitely a very very interactive interview round i would say because for everything like i had to justify whatever i'm speaking and 
I definitely utilized my past experiences from different projects and that helped me to crack that interview round. So same thing I would suggest you as well before moving to these kind of design related interviews, make sure you have a really good idea about all the projects which you have worked so far so that you can use that experience while designing that particular solution. Now talking about the sixth interview round and that was basically googliness and the leadership you can say. So this interview round was completely based on the behavioral question and the team fitment kind of round. So in the Amazon, like we have a similar kind of uh, round, let's say the leadership or the behavioral round where mostly they will try to focus on their leadership principle, right? 14, 16 leadership principle Amazon had. So similarly in Google, they have a googliness and leadership. So this is the round where they will try to check your behavioral part and your team fitment, how positively you can think and tackle the situations, right? So I can definitely give you some hint that what kind of behavioral question the interviewer were asking to me. So for example, like two, three teammates are working on a same solution, same design, and they come up with a different, different ideas. Then how would you actually convince uh, the other folks about your design? And second hypothetical situation was like, let's you are working for a startup, right? And uh, there was a CTO basically who left and somehow you have been appointed as a new CTO. So based on your experiences, what all things you would like to change in the organization on priority, right? So that was the hypothetical question. So I had to think from the employee perspective and I had to think from the leadership perspective as well and have to made a really good balance between my decisions on priority in the organization, right? And another hypothetical situation was like, uh, there are two senior tech leads uh, in the team, right? Uh, let's say you and another one. So somehow let's say your team were trying to solve a particular use case and the other tech lead, right? He came up with a design and he proposed uh, it to you. Just wanted you to review the architecture and have any thoughts about it. So here the twist was the second tech lead. He is not someone who is very, very open to the feedbacks. like. What he thinks that whatever he has designed is the best solution. He is very, very reluctant and won't even entertain any feedback from anyone. So how would you gracefully handle this particular situation? Because you both will be working on a specific solution. So it has to be very, very good based on the best practices. And you observe that there are some faults and there are some loopholes in this particular uh, solution and you want to rectify it. So how would you provide that feedback? And if that guy is not listening to your feedback, then how would you communicate to the things to the leadership or anyone so that things can move on smoothly and there is no dispute between the team members and all. So very, very spontaneous and hypothetical situation. So uh, the secret sauce to crack this interview round is definitely your positive mindset. And how would you deal with that particular situation naturally, not, not aggressively. So that is the best thing. Just prepare stories around that and try to put your answers and the seventh interview round or you can say the last was with the hiring manager so that was about the 30 minute of uh, interview process and in this round definitely there was no technical questions or any behavioral kind of question nothing like that and in this round hiring manager was basically wanted to know more about me my past experiences for every company wherever i contributed what all things i learned in each and every company and how i utilize those learnings and also he wanted me asked to as many as question i had for the hiring manager beat the related to the team the tech stack the use cases they are trying to solve the work life balance part and anything right so i utilize this round really well to understand more more about the team the tech stack what would be the my role and responsibility how we work at the google and every single and very very important question i wanted to ask i utilize this time and i got my answer which ultimately helped me as well in the end to decide that which company should i go for so that was all about the interview process for the data engineer role at google and i'm pretty sure this is very detailed and will help each and everyone who is actually in the mid data engineer role and want to crack these kind of big companies like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Uber and many more. Make sure to give a like this video in big, big numbers so that this can reach to maximum number of people. And let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Which round did you feel is the easy and the toughest one? And what would be your approach to solve each and every question which I talked about in different, different rounds. And if you're new to my channel and liking this kind of data related content, then smash the subscribe button and press the notification icon. And I will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video related to data. Till then, just stay safe, stay home, take care of yourself and your family too.